Here we are at the Small Business Festival of 2017 in Austin, Texas with Lindsay Hoffman, the Community Development lead at Microsoft. Yes. Tell us about how Microsoft is uh, working with small businesses. Yeah, so Microsoft, we really kind of rebranded ourselves to be able to be the destination to grow your business. So we're providing SMBs that local feel of having a family behind them to be able to give them the resources that they need and then to empower their business. So there's tons of resources within their local Microsoft stores uh, that we have, you know, business solution specialists that are there to support them throughout their journey from from growing from small to big uh, and just being that kind of sounding factor for them. Yeah, and you mentioned, um, talk a little bit about the opportunities available at Microsoft stores and the kind of uh, outreach that's going on there. Yeah, so Microsoft stores are, are really this great place of integration for you to be able to come in and touch and feel devices, uh, but it's also a destination for you to be a part of the family and to come into our community. So Microsoft is dedicated to supporting you, and that's the beautiful factor of what the stores do is it's a foundation and a destination for you to utilize our services. So whether that be you just need a connection in your local community, you need us to sync you with a Microsoft partner, um, or if that's you need specialized pricing, or if you need just a question answered about how to utilize a service, or hey, I need a little bit of a malware removal or something around that, um, there's a ton of resources within that local store and a ton of Microsoft employees that would love to support our small businesses locally. And are these like educational workshops or seminars? Yeah, so we have all of the above. So we have uh, you know, business consultations that we can walk through what's best for your business and give you what resources are gonna work. We offer free workshops, free trainings, um, and also uSpark camps for the little ones. So if you just need a day during the summer to have the kids a place where they can learn robotics or learn how to use Office, or just wanna come in and learn how to create 3D art in a really cool space, we host all sorts of different workshops for those kids to really get hands-on and have that STEM education. So cool. Yeah. Get them started early, right? Yes, that's the way to do it, right? <laughs> so, um, and nonprofits, you mentioned that, that Microsoft works a lot with nonprofits. Yes, so Microsoft is dedicated not only to our small businesses, but also to our community. So we have this amazing program called Microsoft Give, where they match us at every hour a Microsoft employee dedicates their time. Uh, we match that at a $25 an hour rate. So not only are you getting the time of a Microsoft employee, you're also getting Microsoft back your local nonprofit to be able to help you and wherever you need those funds to go whether that go back into your community or to help you get a new technology service uh, we're there to be able to help you in those steps of growth and then Microsoft gives there's another aspect of this yes so we do a ton of philanthropic work in all of our local communities so you've got Microsoft stores throughout the entire nation but those Microsoft stores are dedicated to their local communities where we go out and we you know get our hands dirty and we help paint the sides of houses and build playgrounds and pack backpacks and you know we do a lot with the American Childhood Cancer Organization we do pajama parties where we raise awareness for amazing causes like kids that are battling cancer um, and we put ourselves in there their shoes and we dedicate our time to empowering them and empowering what their their purpose is and, and giving them that kind of springboard and foundation for them to really get the awareness around their cause. How cool. Yeah, so in your work with, with small businesses, um, how do you, if you were to kind of try to advise someone in the direction of expanding their business literacy uh, you know, you've worked with a lot of different small businesses, so give me some tips that somebody might just trying to engage with Microsoft a little Yeah, more. so I think the, the first step is walk into your local Microsoft store. So just by walking in, you're gonna have those questions. You're gonna have someone greet you that's gonna be extremely excited to see you, um, but they're also gonna be there to ask you, what's your needs? How can we help you? And genuinely, they wanna be there to guide you. So we're there for the small, for the big, for the in-between, um, and just for the consumers as well. So we want to be able to empower each and every individual to achieve more uh, and that's a big a part of who we are so you can go on you know www.microsoftstore.com forward slash location find your local Microsoft store um, or just go to microsoft.com and check out you know there's free trainings on there and resources for people to educate themselves and to be able to have those free um, tools to be able to elevate and, and empower yourself. So awesome, Lindsay. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with yeah. us at the Small Business Festival. Yeah. And you just mentioned how everyone can get in touch with Lindsay and the Microsoft team. Yes. And um, 
Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks so for we, us. We, we learned about the fact that Microsoft has these wonderful opportunities for people to get together at the store with professionals. Yep. We have the uh, Microsoft Gives, where there's some amazing outreach possible for small businesses and nonprofits, and this nonprofit connection that is even more developed in business development for nonprofits. So yes. thanks so much for your great work. Yes, with small us. business people, we need all we can get. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> thanks. thanks. <laughs>